Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos, and today we're taking a look at Windows 8. So I'm here in a virtual machine in Windows 8, still in our old release preview. And one common thing that everybody's been talking about, and you've probably seen all sorts of tutorials, I just want to talk about my favorite tool for replacing and putting back the start menu within Windows 8. So if you upgraded to Windows 8 because you're an early adopter, or maybe you bought a P new PC, or you're buying a new PC and it's going to have Windows 8, one thing you're going to notice is there is no start menu, there is no start button, but if you do hover down here and you click, or if you just hover down here, you'll see that uh, thing that popped up earlier, which is related to the start menu, where if I hit my Windows key, you get this new, formerly known as Metro, it's called the Modern UI now. Uh, you'll get this UI uh, that is, you know, it's a nice new UI, but again, it's it's not the start button, it's not the start interface that you may be used to. So if you want to get that back, uh, if you want to have that button down back there to access quick things like my computer, your documents, programs, etc., etc., what you can do is you can download this thing called Power8. This is a tool uh, over on code.google.com, it's a project here. Uh, it's called Power8, and it's a start menu replacer for Windows 8, styled and integrated inside the taskbar. So it's going to be integrated in here very nicely, and I already have the installer open here, so you're going to go ahead and install that, and once, uh, I'll run through the installer with you here, so you're going to install it, install, and you're going to let it do its thing, hit yes, here, and I'm going to launch it. Now you're going to notice here, it's going to pop up in the, uh, in the taskbar here, I'm just going to let it load. This is going to bring back that start menu interface that we all know and use with uh, Windows 8 or something that's that much more familiar with it I should say. So we're just going to hang on here, wait for it to load. And I had to quickly uh, show the desktop icons right there. I wasn't showing my desktop icons, which wasn't showing this. And after that, you will see here that the Power 8 menu is now in the bottom left of your screen. That Start menu, you will see that little Windows color right there. It is a little bit more shrunken down, uh, but it is nonetheless there. It's a new button, more minimalist. But when you click it, you have that same kind of interface you're used to and more. So this, what I like about Power 8, it's a really comprehensive Start menu that kind of integrates really, really nice with Windows 8. You can see here you have that typical wherever you want to pin you can unpin stuff, you can pin items up here. You can click this to go to Start Menu and go straight into your programs. If you have a lot of programs on here, you can access those right away. You can search still, so I can say computer, and I can go to you know my computer right here. Uh, click that and it would open, obviously, uh, computer. You also have a, co uh, a couple of other options. You can you know close and open stuff, so you can, you have stuff by category, but if you want to open it again, you can just double click it and it'll open right there. Uh, and again, going back into the menu here, you also have options to go into stuff like control panel right here. You can click it and it'll open that. Additionally, if you don't want to open it right away, you can just hover over the arrow and click on the arrow and you will just get instant access to those features right away. So for example, uh, administrative tools without clicking in, you can just go straight into something without actually having to open the window. Just a quick tree. You can do running, you can do shutdown, restart, sleep, all from this one menu. And again, it's that simple. Uh, and again, if you want to do more stuff, you can go into the actual Power 8 program if you want to look into that. So if I hover over the button here, I can click on settings. And you can do a couple things here. So within this, you can do auto start. So you can obviously have it start right when the computer starts up. Block Metro features. This allows you to block certain things with Metro or that, you know, modern UI. So this actually may, I think if you do this, let's try this out. If I hit the start button, will it, let's see here, exit. Okay, so the start button still goes into the thing, but you can block certain features if that's what you want to do. Uh, so you can check that out again, block Metro features uh, from the Metro UI. Um, you can do other things, check for updates, watch removable drives, or start applications when uh, fatal error occurs, configure the start button. So if you don't like the way it is right now, see it's it's at that 4 by 3 ratio, I can move it up, I can make it a 16 by 9 ratio if I want it to be a little bit more, uh, sorry, follow the taskbar orientation, I'll uncheck that. Say I wanted to, oh, or, or auto by desktop, you can see there, I can make it bigger if that's what I want. You know, you can even change the image. So if you have your own image you want to use for your start button, you can even change that. So it is really, really customizable, and you finally get that start button that everybody's kind of used to back. You can change your menu buttons. You can even change the web search engines because you have keys where you can use, for example, G space something to search on a web engine. For example, if I was to hit it, whoops, if I was to go here and say, uh, whoops, let me close this. If I hit G and say Digital Dojos, what that does is that Google searches using Internet Explorer right away using that search bar all in one. Really cool start menu replacer. If you are a Windows 8 user, if you're upgrading to Windows 8 and you really do miss the start button, you can get it back. Tons of customizations with Power 8. Have it boot up, have it change the start menu button. 
uh, you know, working all to your needs. Do check it out, guys. It is Power 8. It's free. I'll leave the link in the video description below. Thanks a lot for watching.